think I got it. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. I am, I was like trying to figure this out. This is a new platform that I'm using right now. So I'm like, like wait a minute, what the heck am I doing? Because anytime I've ever gone live before, I just clicked the button within YouTube and went live. So I am here. I'm here. Welcome to everybody that made it. I appreciate you guys. And I'm sorry to keep you waiting because I wanted to get started too, but I was trying to figure this stuff out, y'all. <laughs> hey, Arda C. Um, all right. So yeah, in this stream, I'm going to be talking about making money. I know a lot of people had questions about some things that I talked about. So I wanted to make sure that I was available to answer your questions. And also, you know what I mean? I got to add some Philly swag to it, have my little wine. So, um, hey, hey, uh, Queen's Generational, Miss Diamond. Hey, y'all. All right, my riders are here. I appreciate y'all being here. All right. Um, oh, oh, my gosh. T Tammy Lyle Clark. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, yes, that's right, Miss Diamond. Cheers. 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 <laughs> So um, I hope y'all can hear me good. Um, I have my mic set up and everything. Like I like I was saying, um, I'm actually using a streaming platform right now instead of just directly streaming onto YouTube. But um, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the wind, the wind is kicking up like crazy right now. Like it was actually kicking up in my sleep last night. Like it was crazy. So in Philly, it's very very windy. Oh, thank you, Miss Diamond. All right, y'all can hear me. And Kimberly, Philly is in the house. That's right. Um, yeah, so yeah, you know, it, it's crazy windy out here. So just a little tidbit of information. So I haven't even mentioned anything about this on my channel yet, but I just moved. So I am all over the place right now. I would say about 50% of my stuff is still packed. <laughs> so I am like still trying to figure stuff out and um oh my gosh Arda is Germ in Germany is hot ah oh, I'm jealous but um but yeah so I have I've been like trying to get everything done so I will be more consistent in the future and I'm actually thinking about having these live streams be like a weekly thing because you know I do want to be more available for you all um thank you Miss Diamond uh so yeah so I want to get to it um, and if you want to feel free, drop any questions in the comments and I got your back. So actually I'm going to start out with, um, with apps. So I know a lot of people came to my channel because of money making apps. So I want to fill y'all in on what kind of apps that I'm still using and give you a little update on, you know, some stuff that's been going on that I talked about on my channel. So, um, yeah, Florida is nice too. Oh gosh, I'm coming to Florida soon, actually. Um, but yeah, so the first one that I want to talk about is my first, my my main go to when it comes to the apps, and that's Fetch Rewards. So I just wanted to let y'all know. Yes, your girl is still using Fetch Rewards. It's still my number one. Um, hey, Lewis, Lewis dropped in. Hey, Lewis, I'm telling you, my heavy hitters are here today. So. Um, but yeah, I want to be able to, to put the links in here for you guys. So just so you have it, um, you know, of the things that I'm talking about. But yeah, Fetch Rewards, that's still clutch. That's a nice little way to make money. You're know, basically making money for things that you're already doing. So with that one, that's when you're uploading receipts. I shop all the time. I don't know about you, but I shop all the time. So um, I'm going to drop in my, my link. And y'all know I have referral links, so I appreciate y'all if y'all use them. But um, but yeah, but I actually really do use the stuff that I talk about. And like I mentioned before in a couple of my videos, like I don't just push stuff to y'all and not, you know, not use them or not believe in those products um, because it literally is this my name on the line. You know what I mean? So I don't just push any old thing. So yeah, Fetch Rewards, I just wanted to remind y'all all that Fetch Rewards is still clutch. So if, you, um, if you're if you new to Fetch Rewards, if you don't know about it, um, again, you scan receipts and you can get points that can be redeemed for free gift cards. So the free gift cards that they have, which I rarely 
tell this one, but they have Visa gift cards as well. So you can actually get cash from Fetch Rewards. And when you sign up, they give you, um, what is it? Uh, 2,000 bonus points. So you get those 2,000 bonus points and it takes 3,000 points in order to cash out for like a $3 gift card. Now the, um, the Visa gift cards, I think those have a minimum of like $25. I want to make sure I'm giving you the right information. Um, but yeah, so there's a minimum for some, you know, for the smallest gift card that you can get is going to be $3 for like example, Amazon, they have $3 Amazon gift cards in there. But Visa, I see it now. Visa, they have a $5 minimum. So 5,000 points to get you a $5 Visa gift card. So um, so just so you guys know, like Fetch Rewards is one that you should definitely use if you do any kind of shopping. And you can actually, um, I'm trying to think, it was another way to earn in there. Um, I know they have a debit card as well. I don't have the debit card. I'm keep it real with y'all. I don't have it. Not that I don't want it. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. Um, but, uh, okay, Sophie is asking, do I recommend Just Play? I don't, I'm not familiar with Just Play. Let me, um, let me see if I can pull that up. Um, but, yeah, so Just Play, I know I've heard the name before. Just looking at it off hands. Um, okay, uh, I see it on Google Play. Maybe that's why I haven't heard of it. Because um, just so y'all know, like I have an Apple phone. I, you know, I use iOS. So for me, if it's only on the Google Play Store, it's not going to work for me. Um, like I have an old Android device that I don't use. It's not even charged up. So um, at one point I would like go in and, you know, find the, find the, like the Google play type apps and stuff, but it just like, it's such an old device that it wouldn't even allow me to get a lot of the newer apps. So it just wasn't working out for me, but, um, but, you know, just looking at it, um, looking at just play, if you have a, um, a, like a Android device, it looks like it might work out because it has out of 139,000, almost 140,000 votes. It's almost a five star rating. It's like over four and a half. Yeah, it's a 4.3 star rating. So, yeah, that looks like it's a, a cool app. So, I mean, I mean, I would definitely try it if I had an Android device. Um, but oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. It's on the App Store. 4.5. They have 4.5 stars on the App Store. And I can look at it. I can actually, I'll take note of that just so I have it. And I can, if it works out for me, then I will definitely do a video on it. Um, so, yeah, but that one looks good. Like it has really good ratings. So, yeah, I would definitely look into it. Um, but another app that I use, like, just so you know, like I have, <laughs> I have, a folder in my phone. So I'm actually going to show it to you. Um, so I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to open it up bigger. Maybe you can see it. So I have a folder and this is not going to come off good on the, on the camera, but it says gift card apps. So I have so many apps in my phone. No problem, Sophie. I have so many apps in my phone. Like it's ridiculous. I have like 300 apps in my phone. Um, so I try to put them in folders to try to organize my stuff. And, um, so that way, you know, I can easily find the different apps. Um, let me see, let me, I'm going to highlight this comment. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm trying to figure out this thing. I'm sorry. Um, to Sophie, I would have actually highlighted your comment. Um, had I remembered that I could highlight comments, I'm telling you, it's janky today because I'm still trying to figure out this this whole um, this whole live stream app. But but yeah, so uh, Miss Diamond wants to know um, how often does Mindswarms contact you for surveys? I signed up the same day you left the video about it, but still waiting. Listen, okay, so yeah, they actually. The funny thing is, like. I'm having a problem getting in contact with them um, for the reason of updating my email address. Because when I signed up, what I do is, and I mentioned this before, is when I sign up for stuff, I'll use 
another email address. So it's not like my primary email address. I'll use what I call my junk email. So that way I'm not getting like spam and stuff like that because, you know, if it's a app or website that I find out that they're spammy, then, you know, then I don't have to worry about it. They're in that spam email, yada, yada. So um, my swarms, I signed up using my junk email account and child, like, I'm like, it's such a good app. Like I said, um, for the first, the first time they reached out to me was, I think maybe two days after I finished my profile, like, you know, completed my profile. Um, or should I say it was after it was accepted? Um, yeah. So it was about two days for the, for that one. So far I've, I've had that one. So, um, but they have reached out for me to do like, to be qualified for other ones. Um, but I haven't qualified for any, um, as of yet, other than that, that first one that I did, which was at this point, maybe two weeks ago. Um, but the thing is when they send me notifications, like, cause what they'll do is they'll send you an email and let you know, like, oh, you might qualify for this particular survey. So, you know, go in and, you know, answer these questions to see if you qualify. So when you answer the questions it take, they'll basically, they'll let you know, like not right away, but they'll let you know maybe a day or two in the future that you do qualify for that survey. So I've done a couple of them. I would say every two to three days, I get a notification from them saying that I qualify for a survey. And there was one um, the other day that I was so mad that I missed because I was like pretty sure I'd have been a shoe in for it. But um, the more specific it is um, when it comes to um, the type of people they're looking for, the better it is. Because I'm, I'm going to give you an example. So the survey that I did was actually for influencers. So I mean, like how many influencers are they going to have within this particular app, you know, out of the whole demographic, you know, it's going to be a much smaller number of them are going to be influencers. So I was pretty much a shoe in for that survey, but, um, but yeah, so I've done that one. And again, two to three days, every two to three days, I'll get a notification from them saying like, oh, you might qualify for this, but I haven't qualified for anything yet. Um, and I'm sorry for anybody that I did not explain it to, but um, Mind Swarms, um, what Ms. Diamond is asking about is an app that I talked about in a recent video where you can do little short video clips. Like it's a survey app and the way you answer the surveys is through video. So you have to have a camera on your cell phone and you can go in if you qualify for a survey. Um, you'll go in and the maximum amount of time for a question is typically one minute. So the survey that I did, it was 10 questions and they were one minute each. So typically like, and they don't have to be a full minute. So you have to have for each question between 40 and six, I mean, yeah, between 40 and 60 seconds of an answer. And that was what I did. So I did uh, 10 one minute answers and I got $50 for it. So that's what Mind Swarms is. Um, let me, I'm actually going to put it up there in case anybody wants to sign up for Mind Swarms. I don't have an affiliate link. Oh, it's so funny. I just opened it and they, um, they say that there is an available study, but I'm not going to qualify for it because it's a pet one. So I would definitely check your apps if you have it, but let me put Mind Swarms into the the chat let me see Mine forms all right let's see there we go and and this is just a general link this is not even um this is not even going to be like an affiliate link yeah miss diamond i'm telling you girls like that is definitely not bad for fifty dollars like you know i literally spent 10 minutes of my time and earned fifty dollars and what I really like about Mind Swarms is that they will give you your money within 24 hours. So that right there is clutch. So that um, they'll pay that through PayPal. And that that came in handy. You know what I mean? That, you know, they'll buy a nice little lunch and all kinds of stuff. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, so I see they reached out to you um, the other day. Yeah, girl, I'm telling you, like that, that payout is really good. Like that's literally the highest paying app that I ever did. Like for, 
for such a little amount of time, that was the highest paying. Um, but what it does remind me of is another one that was actually really big on my channel um, when my channel was, you know, still pretty early on uh, was Captera. So Captera is actually not an app, but it's a website. Um, I'm going to find it for you guys. So um, Captera is another one where you can, like you can review software on Captera. And with that, they will give you typically between a $5 and like a $25 gift card. I'm actually going to find the link that I actually put into my recent video because that might take me a minute to find it. So just bear with me because that particular link had um, that one would pay higher. So the, the when I first signed up with Captera, they were promising like, oh, you'll get five dollars for a review but then i found a higher paying link so that was helpful so let me see if if that will come up so yep here we go oh that was not too hard um oh okay well youtube doesn't think i'm me so give me a second because they're like we want to verify that it's you all right so um but yeah, so I'm going to put that Captera link in. But basically what Captera is, um, when you fill out the surveys on Captera, so basically you're just reviewing stuff that you already use. So they have stuff like PayPal. Um, what else do they have? I saw Canva in there. So I know a lot of people um, that are subscribed to me use Canva. Um, they're having me do a whole verification process, even though I'm already lo logged into uh, YouTube right now. But um, but yeah, so you do a quick review of those things and it's literally just like a consumer review. So you're just talking about like you're going to give it a certain amount of stars, um, you know, between one and five stars. And then a lot of the questions are optional in Captera. Um, and then you just do like a brief summary of like what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. And you will get, again, between five and ten dollars for doing that. And I can typically do those within five minutes so matter of fact here we go found it and this is not affiliate link this is just a regular captera link i just made it shorter for you guys but yeah that was the link that um that i found that pays higher and when i found that link it said that it would pay like twenty dollars but they gave me ten but i'm all for it but um but the other thing is that you should keep in mind if you do sign up for you know uh do a review with Captera. Just remember that you're not guaranteed that payment. And I'll talk about what the payment is, you know, the forms of payment, but you're not guaranteed um, to get the the reward from them. Is you know, they literally, they literally have to approve your reviews. So if it's not approved, then you're not going to get anything for it. So when they do approve it. They'll send you an email and in the email, it'll say like um, you can cash out, like it'll give you a link and then you go over to this particular link. And then after um, after you go to that link, that's when you will get options for gift cards. So they have different gift cards. So one is Amazon gift card. They also have Target gift cards um and mastercard and they they switch out some other ones every once in a while but those are the main three that i typically see in there but that comes in handy as well and the thing is you can do up to 10 reviews a month with captera um so it's either 10 or 50 dollars because i know when i was doing the five dollar reviews they were saying it was a limit of 10. so it might be a limit of five i'm not sure if they limit it to 50 dollars or if they limit it to 10 reviews but um but yeah you can do a few of them and then when those get approved they'll give you links and they'll do like a single link if you did multiple reviews that got approved so for example if you did five reviews ten dollars each for fifty dollars they'll send you a single link and in that email it'll say for doing these reviews and then they'll have the link in there and it'll be your link to cash out your fifty dollars and then you can split up how you want to cash out so if you want you could do like twenty dollars in um like a, a visa master oh, mastercard in a mastercard uh gift card and then you could do like 30 dollars in target so you can actually 
you know, maneuver that money however you want to. So, yeah, so Cat Terra comes in clutch as well. Um, oh, hi, Ashley, Ashley. Um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, Cat Terra is a good one. But another one, I'm going to go into my app because that gift card app that I have, app that I have is um like one that I go to all the time um so another one oh yeah all right let's talk about <laughs> hold on cheers to this one <laughs> so this next one Zogo listen y'all I'm not gonna give away too much when it comes to Zogo but I'm just gonna say um I don't know if y'all remember but this was, I would say, I think January or February. And Zogo, if, just in case you don't know what Zogo is, the Zogo app, it was actually told to me by one of the Devos. Do we still go by Devo or Devo? I might have to find a new name for y'all, you know, since it's now Nikki Connected and not Deal Find the Diva. But, um, but yeah, so one of my subscribers actually let me know about Zogo. And this was, at this point, over, over a year ago. This is in 2020. Um, so it's an app where you learn about finance and you do like these little modules and they're like really easy questions. Like you literally learn about finance and it's such a good app. Even when I was mad at them, I still, you know, let y'all know, like it really is a good app. Just at the time they were having issues giving me my gift cards. Okay. So, you know, I don't play about my gift cards. You know, I know a lot of y'all don't play about y'all's either. So um so the the issue was that i broke down in this video was um i was owed two hundred dollars by zogo and so uh the way that it works is like when you do um earn x amount of points then of course you can cash out for free gift cards and they have a whole bunch of free gift cards so um yeah, so I did did the work and, and you know you can earn points for referrals too. So y'all using my link to help me out a lot. Um, so you know, I had two hundred dollars worth of points in there. And I reached out to them like, well, when I would try to cash out, it would constantly say that there were zero gift cards available. And so um, so I'm gonna answer this one in a second. So, yeah, so Zogo, I'm, I'm about to answer whether or not Zogo gave me my money. So, yeah, it was a whole issue where it was zero dollars, I mean, zero gift cards available constantly. And I had never seen that before because when you first start out with Zogo, I think you can cash out for like five dollars when you first start out with them. And um, so but when you move up, like when you answer more questions, there are more like you have to reach a higher threshold to cash out. So that I think from there goes like to $10, then like $25, you know, for example, just to give you an example, then like $50, then $100. So I'm at the tier where I can only cash out for $100 gift cards because I was answering a lot of questions and referring a lot of people. So, um, so yeah, so when I ended up trying to cash out this, that last time, and this was like November of last year, they kept saying there were no gift cards available. So I'm like, okay. Let me wait it out because they would say new gift cards are going to be refreshed at midnight. OK, so I was literally I would set alarms and I would like go in at midnight and 1201 several times. So I reached out to them because it was still saying zero zero gift cards. So when I reached out to them, basically customer service was no help. And um, so they kept giving me the runaround. First, they would say, oh, it might be a technical issue. Then they were saying, um, they, they just had all kinds of excuses. So I'm like, okay, y'all play too much. Cause that the last thing they had told me was, oh, it's on the bank. The bank has to be the ones to fill up the gift cards. If they didn't, then you're not getting anything because they're affiliated with specific banks, depending on your area. So there's a credit union that I never even heard of. I think it's called like um, diamond credit union or something like that. Um, that was the credit union that it, I would be affiliated with through Zogo. And so they were blaming that credit union saying they weren't giving the gift cards. So then it dawned on me. I'm like, well, you know what? Let me reach out to that credit union. So sure enough, I reached out and I got somebody that was in charge over there and he apologized to me. He's like, I'm going to look into it right away. So long story short, he looked into it. 
literally same day and i'm talking about zogo was playing games with me like <laughs> they were like really making me mad because then they they like didn't respond to my final email um the email before that they took like like a while to respond when they would respond typically within 24 hours so um so <laughs> So Miss Diamond, she said, oh no, not Diamond credit your girl. Not, is it your credit your girl? I hope not. <laughs> no, but no, nah, it's nothing on Diamond Credit Union. They were they were good. They were actually very, very helpful. Um, so yeah, so when I um so when they contacted Zogo for me, literally Zogo hit me up the same day and was apologetic and they said that they were gonna look into it. So sure enough, within like a day, um yeah, I stayed on them. Yes, I did. So, yes, yeah, so I stayed on um, on the Zogo app. So, sure enough, um, somebody in charge, because the, the guy at the head of Diamond Credit Union, whatever, you know, department he was the head of, I can't remember offhand, but um, he had pull. Okay, so he was able to contact somebody in charge at Zogo as well. So, it wasn't like I was dealing with the minions anymore. It was... I'm dealing with the people at the top. So um, so that's why I got such a quick response. And uh, so sure enough, um, I would say within like two to three days, they gave me my $100. Actually, it was two $100 gift cards. So I ended up getting, because at first I was like inching towards the $200. But by that point, I had reached the threshold of $200 in gift cards. So yeah, they gave me two $100 gift cards. And the way that it was explained to me at the time was that um, that they were saying that they have to like cut down on fraud. And they were like, basically, they have to cut down on fraud. But at the same time, there was still something that the representatives could have done for me. Um, so, so yeah. So basically, the person that was in charge of Zogo apologized to me. He's like, he's going to look into what the breakdown was because even though, yeah, their you know their um, system was putting my gift cards on hold for verification, they didn't do anything to try to help or try to release those gift cards. So he had a problem with that. So he let me know he would look into that. And then, ironically, today I got a notification from. Um, from the Zogo app stating, you know, that they apologize again. And um, they actually responded to me through the app store. And yeah, because I have, yeah, I, I was so mad. I have put in a review and everything. I was like, listen, like if you want your gift cards, don't use them. But no, but yeah, that was the reason why it was such a big thing. So just so you know, if you happen to get to the tier where you'll have to cash out for huge gift cards, then there's a verification process. There's an additional verification process. And, you know, other than that, like they were, they were straight, like everything about them was awesome, you know? And like I said, it's always been such a good app. Um, but yeah, that was just a little pain in my behind, but we got it. We good. Me, me and Zogo app, we straight now. So yeah. Um, but yeah, no problem, Nisi. So um, yeah, so I wanted to let y'all know about that, but if you have any questions, feel free, drop them in the comments and um, I'll feel free, you know, feel free to ask me anything that you want. Just don't let it be too crazy. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to move on to some other things that I talked about on my channel. Um, I know a lot of people, yeah, girl, I'm so glad we're straight now too. But um, one thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about is something I'm going to do a video on. I'm going to go more in detail on it. But, um, oh, before I move on, I'm sorry. Um, how do I feel about D Scout? Oh, that's a really, really good, um, that's a really, really good question. So it's funny because I have D Scout. And so D Scout, I'm actually going to pull it up. So I'm telling you, I've been having so many ads that like I lose track of stuff. Um, my my phone just went through some crazy stuff. So now it's like re-uploading all my apps. They're like put a lot of my apps in the cloud. But yeah, reopening D Scout. Okay, here we go. So yeah. Yeah. So this one was the one with missions. Okay, so with D Scout, I actually like that one. I like the 
thought of it, but I never did anything within there. Like I actually did complete my profile. I'm looking at it now. So um, they do have like, they have quite a few things. So basically it's kind of like, um, uh, what is that one called? That I, did? I cannot remember the name of it. But basically it's like you answer questions and they will give you like some good money. Cause I'm looking in here, they do have like a testing one. Um, we want to know more about your experience with COVID-19 to apply, answer a handful of questions and record a short video. And they said they want you to participate in a 90 minute live mission for $250 reward. So they do, they have like high paying like tasks or things that you can participate in. Um, so basically it's like market research kind of stuff. And yeah, so I'm looking, I think the cheapest one I'm seeing so far is like $40 in payment. Um, but yeah, they have them on a bunch of different topics, but I've never, I've never been chosen for one at this point. Um, I actually need to use this app more. I, I'll be hundred percent honest. I really should use this app way more because I need to be applying for more because that's why I'm not really getting anything because I'm not using it. But, um, but yeah, so that's a, you know, missions, uh, Miss Diamond says, um, let me see. Um, she said they, they do pay. So yeah, if y'all want to, um, look up missions, I'm trying to see if I can give y'all a link. Let me see. I'm going to pull that up online. Missions app. So that way y'all can sign up for that. Let me see. Oh, here we go. All right. I just want to make sure it's the right one. Hold on, because I don't know if this is the right one, y'all. Uh, you know what? I'm going to drop, because this, this is easier for me to do. I'm going to drop the link for Google Play, and then I'm going to drop the link for the Apple App Store. So this is missions. Um, and it's that one. That first one is the Google Play. And the second one is going to be the Apple one. Because um, I remember I had signed up for it. I actually signed up for it, I would say, at least six months ago. And y'all know I have so many apps that y'all you know, be putting me to work too, man. Like I have so many apps and then I end up forgetting about certain apps. Um, so let me make sure I have the Apple one in there for y'all. And this is Apple. Yeah. There y'all go. All right. Yeah. So definitely, yeah. Check out missions because um, that and they, they do have really good reviews, too. And Ms. Diamond says they pay. So we're good. Um, yeah. Express missions. I do remember seeing um, the express missions. Um, I remember seeing those, but I, I tell you, I never did any yet. Um, let me go to hold on. Let me let me go back to this one because I don't want to miss anybody. Um, when customer service gives me trouble, I tell them I have a nationally syndicated podcast with 500K subscribers, and I will talk about their business. They always help me fast. That's why, right, Ashley, Ashley, I hear you, girl. Drop your podcast. Um, I don't know if you just be telling them that or if you really have it. But yeah, that's that. Listen, I've threatened people a couple times. <laughs> the Philly came out of me a couple times. Like, listen, y'all, like, I will talk about you on my channel. Don't play with me. Um, but yeah, y'all know I will put a company out there real quick. Uh, so yeah, they um let me let me go to the next one. Hold on. Um let me see. Um I like them, but wish they contacted me for the bigger payouts. Yeah, I hear you, girl. Um, let me see. Da, da, da. Let me see. Oh, okay, here we go. Um Del Delaney, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. I don't know if it's Delaney or Delaney. Um but yeah, drop. Now, drop, that's one that I've been with for years now. Let me open it up. Um, and I'm telling you, it got to upload all my, like, take everything from the cloud again. I don't, maybe it was an update or something in my phone that 
put so many of my ads into a cloud, but that look, drop is look, looks like it's going to take a minute to um to download again back to my phone. But let me pull it up online just so I can have all their information in front of me. Um, yeah, I'm telling you, it gets a little cloudy until until I started to actually look at it and be like, oh, I remember this one. Um, but I know Drop is one that I've had forever that I don't really use. All right, here we go. I feel like my download is frozen. Yeah, okay, because that's what I, I used it for. Because matter of fact, I think Drop, I'm like just below a threshold for cashing out. Um, yeah, they're talking about that. They're unable to download it right now. Um, so I can't even go in to look at my history. But if I remember right, Drop is one where I'm like just below the threshold because I did, um, I did some kind of, um, purchase. I think I did like an online shopping and it was like a cash back type of thing. If I remember correctly, if this is the right app that I'm talking about, but I know I, I have Drop. Um, but yeah, Drop is, is actually one that I have used. Um, yeah. So you can earn points for playing games and shopping. Um, yeah. So I, I do remember because they were the ones where I had did, this is when <laughs> When Beyonce's clothing line came out on Adidas, I had ordered it online and then picked it up in the store. And that's that's my little tip. That's what I do a lot of times is if I can get cash back for something or get points for using something, um, I'll do, you know, I'll do like the online shopping. I'll use whatever app or link it is to get my cash back and then I'll pick it up in the store so I don't even have to wait for it. Um, yeah. All right. So drop download it. I'm trying to see if I can remember my password. Lord, all right, they saying something went wrong. Um, let me see. Come on, okay, yeah, they're playing with me right now. Um, but yeah, but drop is definitely one that it, it's reputable. Um, but I was, you know, I that that's one that ended up getting put to the side for me, um, because. You know, I actually, I use so many like apps and stuff that are like this. And a lot of times other ones will give like higher payouts and stuff. Um, but Drop drop was still a good one. Um, let me see. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. All right, Chris, um, love your narrated videos. Thank you. Um, anything new to look out for on the audio voiceover side? Yes. Okay. So... <laughs> Actually, I, I have an announcement to make about that that I'm going to be making um, fairly soon. Um, but yeah, as you know, if I don't know how many of you know, but yeah, that was one of the things that ended up um, being of big interest on my channel that I never planned on talking about on my channel. And that was the audiobook narration. So I had did originally, I did like I watched a video on YouTube. And um, Cat Three, Cat Three, I said Cat Three, Cat Theo was talking about um, becoming an audiobook narrator, and big up to Cat Theo. All right, so like, and this is what I always tell you guys: like when I mention something, I, I notice a lot of people, you know, sometimes will get in the comments and say, "I don't think I could do this," or you know, just have reservations about it. And I always say, "You'll never know unless you try." And so I just remember when. The Cat Theo video, as soon as I saw that, like I'm one of those people where I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try it right away before it goes back out of my mind. So that's what I did with um, the Cat Theo video I saw. And um, so I'm like, well, let me try this audiobook narration stuff. Like you can make money doing audiobooks from home. OK, so I went in, immediately clicked off that video, signed up for um, uh, signed up for Amazon. And hold on. Let me, let me see. I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to um, pull up some of the stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, but yeah, so just so y'all know, like I, the platform, the main platform that a lot of people use is ACX. So I went to ACX 
and I put in like I went, found a book, auditioned for it, and I nailed it. So I got a contract to do my first audio book that was called Little Red Rider, an urban fairy tale. I did that one. And then um, the narrator, she likes my voice. So she did, she offered me a second contract, like as soon as I did the 15 minute checkpoint. And that's like the sample that you have to send to authors before you proceed with the entire book. Uh, so yeah, so she offered me that second contract. And then um, before that second book was done, she offered me a third audiobook contract. So I actually, um, at the time, like, I feel like it's a different, I'm like in a more of a different space now when it comes to the audiobook narration. Um, like I'm, I'm still into it. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, um, I noticed that like so many people had questions about it, that it was just hard to balance having my YouTube channel and my blog and do the audiobook narration and do low content books. And, you know, so basically I do a lot of stuff. Okay. So it's, it can be really time consuming to do audiobooks. So I focused on basically just helping everybody else out when it comes to doing the audiobooks. But, um, but the one thing that I do want to let y'all know is about this. So um, that's the audiobook blueprint. Um, that is my course on audiobook narration. And let's see, I'm going to type that in there. Um, so yeah, that's the audiobook blueprint course. If you sign up, that's, that's the best way to get like a streamlined way and to become a successful with audiobook narration. Because what I did in that course was I took all the questions and stuff that everybody was asking me and I put them into this course and I showed things that I will never show in this channel. I'm going to be hundred percent honest with y'all because um, like people had questions about like, Oh, well, what does the contract look like? Um, my best tips and even a copy of my contract, it's all in there. Okay. So um, also another thing to let you know about, um, and just so you know, the course is like less than half price for a temporary amount of time. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's uh it's 129 now, it, normally 299. And the thing about it is when you do sign up for the course, you have a direct line to me. Um, so you can email me whenever you want. Um, I can answer your questions. And when you sign up for that course, you will get a free one-on-one -on -one session with me. Like we will talk one-on-one. -on -one. If you want me to hear how you read, we can go over that. I can give you tips directly based off of your particular needs. So um, yeah, that's the audiobook blueprint course. I am going to um, still have more audiobook videos for you guys. But yeah, that is the best way, that audiobook blueprint, that is the best way to like get a streamlined way to get the best tips. Because, you know, like I said, I try to help y'all out, but um, it's really hard to try to, you know, do a video on every single thing and every single question. But, you know, still the YouTube videos that I have are really helpful. But yeah, um, the audiobook blueprint course, I've definitely made that to help you all. Um, but let me go to the next one. Um, Ashley, Ashley, I'm going to try to catch up on these questions, y'all. Sorry. Um, but have I ever participated in medical market research? Not medical. Um, I've done like other market research types. I've never done medical. Um, I mean, it depends on what it is. Like, I'm not going to allow anybody to like poke or pride me or give me any kind of crazy medication. Like I'm the type of person where, you know, I will react to certain medications and that's not going to be good for me. So, um, yeah, so I never did medical, but I've done plenty of others. Um, thank you, Miss Diamond. She said, she said my narrated videos are the bomb. I appreciate it. Um, let me see. Let me see. Sophie E. Uh, what do you think of the mode earn at formerly known as current rewards? Oh, why does that say? I know I've heard of the current app. Um, I, you know, I never heard of the mode. I can't answer that because I've never done it, but I will definitely um, look into it. I will make a note. It's called the mode, right? All right. All right. Let me see. 
right. So I could definitely look into that. And just like with anything else, like if it works out for me, then I'll definitely, um, I'll bring it to you guys in a video. Um, oh, Ashley, Ashley says she lies about having 500K <laughs> podcast, podcast um, listeners. Um, but you know what? And while I'm talking about like the podcast, let me, I'm about to just give y'all a gem for being here. Okay. So, and this is something I have not talked about on my channel yet, but it's not even really like public, public yet. But for those of you that are interested in like podcasting and making money with podcasting, now I'm thinking about, there are actually two things I want to tell you. Um, so the first thing is Amazon. Like I love making money with Amazon. Um, you know, I do the low content books with them. I do my audio book narration through them. Um, what else? Oh, I'm an Amazon influencer. So I do live streams over on Amazon. I follow my Amazon page. I didn't change the name from Deal Finder Diva because I think it's still fitting over there. Um, so yeah, so my Amazon page is still Deal Finder Diva. I'll actually drop it down below. But um, but yeah, so the thing is what Amazon is going to have is they're going to have or, or just say not going to, they have your own radio station. So I'm, I'm getting in on this, but the thing is, it's only through invite. So um, let me see. Let me just drop in my Amazon storefront. Um, but yeah, so Amazon, they have this thing called, uh, oh no, I didn't put the link in here. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, so it's your own radio station, right? It's called AMP and it's invite only. So they invited me. So I had, I'm getting my station set up, y'all. So like I said, I just moved. And the thing that I love about living here, okay, is there's like a million and one things I love about living here. But it's kind of like being in the city, but it's kind of not being in the city because this is like the corner, corner of just, just at the edge of the city. Um, so it's like kind of sub suburban and it's like a really quiet neighborhood so instead of me having to deal with the sirens and all that stuff that i was dealing with like further in the city i, I don't have those problems anymore and plus um you can actually see right here like wait yeah you can see i have carpet now so basically that helps with the acoustics in the room as well so um so now i'm actually not ruling out audiobook narration again because that was one thing that um that was like a pain for me was like when I would do, when I would record, whether it was YouTube or, um, or audiobook narration or anything, the echo in there, you know, so I would have to, a lot of times I would have to modify my sound in order to get the echo out. And I had, you know, the, the phone box that I talk about, and that really did help. Um, so I didn't really have to edit much with the audiobook, but like with my videos and stuff, I use a different mic and the echo was a little crazy, but yeah, so with this AMP thing um, through Amazon, where you can do your radio station, um, that right there, I'm like, since the acoustics are good in here, I can absolutely do a station. And now I have a walk-in closet, so I can actually go into the closet if that sound is not where, uh, where I want it to be. But so I don't know if y'all can see it, but let me, I'm going to give y'all a heads up. I don't know if... I wonder if if I can actually show y'all. I'm actually going to see if I can pull up this AMP thing. Because I don't know if it's just a website. But like I said, it's on Amazon. And because I really want y'all to see it. So when you create your radio station, you can, you can talk like a podcast. And you can play music. So... I'm going to have like my own station where I'm playing my own music, talking about my own topics. So yeah, that's, that's what it's going to be hitting for. And um, I'm actually going to do it under the name of Mickey for real. Um, that's my other channel. A lot of you already know that, um, that I have a channel. It's more like a vlog channel, Nikki for real. So that's what my amp uh, radio station is going to be under because I'm going to just have like, you know, the fun stuff on there. But let me see if I can pull this up for you because I really, really want y'all to see it. Um, let's see. 
Yes, the live radio at. All right, here we go. Let me see. All right. Let's see. Can I share? Da -da -da. All right. Let me. I'm telling you, I'm trying to figure out this this whole thing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. I just want to make sure I'm not like giving out private information or nothing in the <laughs> in the process. Hold up. All right. So, come on. Okay. All right. Let's share my screen, and then I'm gonna go into da da da. Share my screen. Okay, this thing is like trying to give me all kinds of problems right now. Um, all right, no, it's not gonna let me share it. All right, uh, because I gotta do all kinds of permissions and stuff. But basically, that's what the the whole ant thing is doing. Let me see. Oh wait a minute, hold on. I might be able to. Might be able to. All right, let's see. And it's crazy because nobody is talking about this ant thing yet. So I don't know why it's not going to. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all should be able to see this. Let me know if you can. Um, but yeah, so that's what it is. So this is um, it's like a beta thing. And it's on iOS right now. Um, as you can see right there, it's beta for iOS. and. Yes, yeah, so you can DJ your own live radio shows and you can use licensed songs and all that stuff. So I'm telling you, I'm going to be playing out all the stuff that is in my um, in my playlist. But yeah, so this is this is a page that um, is like breaking down the whole amp thing. Uh, but yeah, so I had to um, I had to show you all that. Um, but yeah, I did just want to show you all that it's actually real. Right. So. Yeah, so then, um, let me see, let me go to the next one. But yeah, so basically, like when you create your own radio station, this right here, that whole amp thing, that's something that is new and upcoming. And like a lot of people that want to get into like YouTube or podcasting or anything, a lot of times the frustration comes because it's already saturated. So this is going to be so new. This amp thing is so new that it is definitely not saturated. As you can see, it's still in beta testing version. Um, so it's nice to get in on stuff like this really early and you don't have to pay for it. Like it's free, it's through Amazon. Um, and so I can totally see this becoming something that's huge and something where sponsors and stuff are going to want to, you know, get personalities from there. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Um, so if you can, what I would do is I would go over to Amazon's website. Um, like I would Google like Amazon Amp and see if you can, or I mean, not even go over, uh, go over in, in the app. If you have iOS, get Amp and then there's like a waiting list button. Click on that and they'll email you when you can get in there because that's going to be huge. Um, but along those lines, like if you want to make money from stuff like that, where you have like your own platform and all that, there is something that a lot of people don't know about and it is called fan base. So fan base is another thing where it's, it's like the competition to clubhouse. So what, um, you know, so it's basically like talking on clubhouse, but it's like a mesh between clubhouse and Instagram. So you can put like pictures and stuff up there. Um, I have, I actually have a fan base page. I don't post on it all that much. Um, but yeah, like that one is, is another good one. There are people that are making money from fan base. And this is me like pulling up fan base. Like people are in here talking now. So like, it's literally like a, you know, a thing where you can go in and chat with people and like have your own podcast type of thing so people are making money off of that and the, the thing about fan base is 
you can monetize on that easier than you can with Instagram or YouTube or any of them because the creators of fan base made it so that um, that like the whole point of it is that they want creators to be compensated for the things that they do. So fan base will actually pay you, even if you don't have a lot of subscribers, if you get X amount of views and stuff like that, then you can absolutely monetize with fan base. So I would definitely keep them in mind too. So if you're somebody that wants to um, get into like those kinds of programs, then I would definitely do that. Um, let me see. Uh, let me move on. I know I like went off on and, and fan base, but let me, let me go through. Uh, let me see. All right. So, okay, this is a good question. Um, how do you keep track of all your jobs and how do you do your taxes? Girl. All right. So, so as you know, um, I actually recently did a video um, with a tax professional that I know. Um, he calls himself the finance rebel. He's a, another Philly person. Um, so what I like to use, there's a free app that's called wave and so wave will i'm actually going to link it below so that you can have it and what i did was i link my business bank account to it and that way whenever transactions come out it will keep track of any money going in or any money coming out um so let me throw Weave in there. It's waveapps.com. So let me throw that in there for y'all. Checking. Oh. Yeah, so that's what helps me out a lot. And, I, you know, I just use um, like the QuickBooks stuff to do my taxes. Um, nothing fancy. So like it's for me, it's easier because I'm keeping track of the stuff throughout the year and, you know, through wave. So it's just easy for me to just get everything that I need right then and there. And also another thing that I started, um, you know, I went back to recently was um, something that I talked about in my recent video. And I want to pull that up for you guys. But it's that app called Steady. And so the steady app is another one where you can like link your bank accounts and stuff and keep track of your finances. But I don't keep track of that for like tax purposes necessarily, but I like to see, cause they don't have a graph like telling you and breaking down like where the majority of your money is coming from, you know, um, which companies are giving you the highest amount of direct deposits and stuff like that. So the steady app makes that really easy too. Um, I'm going to see if I can find that for y'all, um, find that link. But yeah, so, you know, it's really important to keep track of that stuff because last thing you want is a problem with Uncle Sam. But um, I'm trying to find this link for you all. So just bear with me for one second. Um, also, just while I'm talking about the study app, um, like I said, I talked about it in my last video that I dropped on Saturday. And in that app, like they don't just have like keeping track of your money, but they also have a thing where you can, first of all, if you're unemployed, they have a grant for the unemployed, a thousand dollar grant. And so that way you can um, possibly, you know, get some extra money in your pocket there. Um, what else? Oh, they have a bunch of side hustles. So Sometimes people want to know, like, how am I finding, like, all these side hustles? It's through the Steady app a lot of times. And, you know, plus other things. But the Steady app, they have a lot of options in there for side hustles, whether you want to do, like, online jobs, full-time jobs, part-time jobs, gig work. They have them all in there. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, definitely get the Steady app. That's totally free. So um, I highly suggest that one. Um, let me see. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Miss Diamond. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, it is a lot, but yeah, I mean, it's my job, so I'm good. Um, let me see. Da -da -da -da. All right, let me see. 
Oh, this is a good question. Uh, do I edit my own videos? I edit my own videos. I'm telling you, if I didn't have to edit my videos, I would not have like so much space in between my videos because I have so much to talk about. Like, well, I'm, I'm a t I just, I, I want y'all to see this. This, like, because sometimes people will be like, okay, well, they'll ask me a question or ask me to do a dedicated video on something. I just want you to just to get an idea of these are topic ideas that I have, right? So this is this is what I'm dealing with, okay? So th these are topics that I haven't hit yet, all right? So this is a rolling list. And then, like, I'll prioritize some things. Like, I'll throw them at the top a lot of times, especially if it's something that, um you know, that I recently talked about. I'll, like, put it at the top. But there's that wasn't even the bottom of it. Like, I do, I have a lot of topics. So I have a lot to talk about, but... I have to edit these videos and just to give you an idea like it takes me i would say like an, about four hours for each video that i do to edit it and so like because i try to keep them fun and lively and all that stuff um so yeah it, it takes a lot yo it takes a lot it's a lot of work um let me see let me see. Um, medical market research is always taking a pill or something like that i know someone was paid 2k for testing the adhesive on a patch without medicine just to see if her skin reacted. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, I know that um, they don't, you know, all have like medications in them and stuff like that, but I, I never, um, I never did one. Um, let me see. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. I'm actually gonna be doing more live streams. Like I said, I just moved, so it's a better atmosphere. I had actually this is a much nicer place than any place I've ever lived at. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with y'all. Um so let me see. And Miss Diamond, you just started following me there too. I appreciate y'all. Um okay, and Tammy says, um, I do that one anchor and Spotify. I love it. Um, I think you might be referencing like the, um, like when I was talking about AMP, that's really cool though. Um, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounced this. Oh, one in the chamber. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, on AMP. Yeah. You can play music. Like they have a library of songs that you can choose from. So, you know, I'm sure that they have like uncensored options. I, started setting up my station but i haven't um got it started yet but i actually plan on starting it very very soon and i will make sure i provide y'all with the link when i do that um miss <laughs> diamond nikki for real love that thank you um how do you get invited on amazon and that was for amp get you would have to need you need an ios device um and get the amp app so I'm gonna see if I can actually copy the link for the app from my phone. I should be able to. Shrimp, copy, bam. All right. So this is the link for AMP. Amazon AMP video station. Oh, it doesn't want to copy my link. Let's try it again. If not, I'll try to get it online. Yeah, it doesn't want to. All right, give me one second. I'm going to pull it up. Amazon. Yeah. Here we go. I found it. All right. So this is going to be the app for that. And oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, Financial Anatomy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. That is my first ever super chat. I appreciate you. Sup, Nikki? Keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, definitely sign up for AMP. Um, you again, you need the um an iOS device. 
and you will be straight. You can just sign up and in there, like, because when you download the app, um, when you open it up, it'll have an option to get on the waiting list from there. So um, you should be, you should be straight. Um, and let's see. And, oh, Ms. Diamond says, I do a great job, job editing my videos. Thank you. The thing is like, you know, I, I have some experience, even though things are way different than they were back in the day. But um, some of you may know, like I, I graduated from Temple University with a communications and theater degree. So part of my degree was like, um, it was basically what they call interdepartmental. Um, they changed it around a lot. Like that school that I went to, they don't have that exact thing anymore. It's actually just a communication, the communication school now. Um, but the thing is, um, when I was there, I was interdepartmental. So I did everything from broadcast to um, video editing, because um, it was broadcasting, telecommunications, and multimedia. Um, I did journalism. I did so much within that field. So it was kind of like a liberal arts degree, basically. Um, so yeah, so I, I kind of got like a a little cheat sheet of a start because I was like editing for many years before that. Um, so once you learn it, you, you just retain it. Um, and yeah, Ms. Diamond says that's so nice. Yes, it is financial anatomy. Thank you so, so much. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to um, give you all a heads up on just some of the things um, that, that I have going and that I actually use to make money. Um, I'm going to end this live soon. Um, if you have any last minute questions, just feel free to drop them. But, um, but real quick, in one of my latest videos, I actually talked about something that I'm going to be talking more about. I just want to give you a heads up on that. Um, so there was the thing about the, um, let me pull it up. Hold on. So there was the, the, uh, what is it? the licensing stuff that you could do. So like you could get a, like a PDF book and then sell it as if it's your own. And that way you're making a passive income from there. Cause y'all know I love passive income. Right. So yeah, they're, they're called PLR books. And I wonder if I can, no, nah, it's going to give me problems to try to pull this thing up. But, um, but yeah, with the PLR books are called, it's called private label rights. So you can take those books and, I used an example in my latest uh, video where I got a PLR book and it was much more than just a book. It came with videos and all kinds of stuff. So just the book alone, like you can rebrand it and then resell it. So even if you just have like an Instagram page or anything like that, you can you can basically create some kind of link and allow people to download it. So even if you upload it to like a Google Drive and give people access to it when they pay, you can do that kind of stuff and earn a passive income from those books. So I'm just giving you a heads up that um, somebody asked me some really good questions about that. So I do want to make sure I do a follow up video on that because I really want y'all to understand that one because that that one is like, you know, one of the newer things in the game. Um, but let me see. Um, financial energy. Uh, thinks we need more live streams in the finance YouTube community. Props should be given to those who do it. You're right about that. Thank you so much. I, I, and you don't know how much that means to me. It really does. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you all a heads up um, that I'm going to be doing those types of videos and that, um, I, you know, I just basically want to put more things into your mind about how there's more ways to earn money than getting free gift cards and stuff like that. So, um, you know, when I first started the channel, it started off like just saving money and couponing and stuff like that. But um, starting around the time of like the audiobook narration, when I started doing that in 2020, everything like flipped. And that's when I realized people were like, I want to know about making money too. So that's why I decided to, you know, flip the channel around and, and focus more on that as well. And um Ms. Diamond says, we appreciate you taking time out to answer our questions and tell us about different ways to get some cash. I appreciate that. Yes, I will keep it coming. Um, 
So, yeah, so I just wanted to just remind you all to, you know, keep an open mind that there are so many ways to make money out there. And if you ever, ever, ever have any questions for me and like you want to like get in contact with me, have me answer some questions um, or interested in me doing a video on a certain topic, DM me on Instagram. I'm going to drop my Instagram handle and yeah, just follow me as Nikki Connected. And here we go. I just don't want to misspell it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that's my Instagram. I'm actually going to show that up there. Um, so just follow me there if you ever want to DM me or anything. So, yeah. Uh, oh, and before I head out, all right, um, Ms. Diamond has one more question. Uh, what's the website called again when you do jury duty online? Are you still doing that? I haven't done that. Um, it's called e-jury, I think. Let me, I just want to make sure. Yeah, ejury.com. And, and that was one that I had a long time ago. Like I did that one. I actually remember when I did that. That was when I just had my daughter. And I was staying home a lot more. And I was like, well, I'm just going to try to find some different ways to make money. And so that was, I think, in 2011. Um, so, yeah, um, e-jury. I mean, I just wanted to bring that to y'all because it was, you know, something that I knew for a fact had paid me in the past. And, yeah, so that's a good one. I, but I don't, um, I haven't done that in years. But, um, yeah, that's still a good option. And all right. So, um, so with that, um, and Miss Diamond, it's okay if you don't have Instagram. It's, it's so, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but I appreciate y'all tuning in and I think I'm going to continue doing these live streams probably on Sundays. I don't know. Like my daughter just started track and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how we're going to finagle the schedule, but Sundays seem to be like my best day to like get this kind of stuff out the way. So, um, so yeah, so I'll, I would say within the next week, I'll be doing another live stream. So if you have questions, make sure you be ready. Have them, have them locked and loaded for me. And all right, with that said, I'm gonna um I'm gonna peace out in this video, like I always say. And I'm gonna finish my wine, and I'm gonna work on some new videos for y'all. I'll see y'all. Bye y'all. <laughs>